Hi everybody, uh, I think it's about time for a new story time, and uh, it's not a chapter book this time, it's called Isin Boshi, The One Inch Boy, and it has these amazing illustrations that are done with screen printing. Remember that, that, that creature? Yeah, don't spoil for anybody yet though. Once in a country far away, there lived a peasant and his wife. They had no children, and every day to lift their spirits, on the walk to and fro from the fields, they sang, We'd like a little boy, any size at all. We'd like him little, we'd like him small, we'd love him tiniest of all. Just like that. And then one day, a miracle happened. They had a child, Hari. But... And this hardly came as a surprise. He was really, really... Small! That's what they wanted! Yeah. And they called him Isin Boshi, the One Inch Boy. There he is again. The years passed, and Isin Boshi became nimble and smart. And he learned to dance, he learned to sing, and the country folk came to and see... And he learned to cook? He did? He came to see the charming way he moved his little body. A hard-working boy he helped his parents in the field, and they repaid him richly in love and gratitude. But by the age of 15, there was no denying it, he still hadn't grown an inch. Not one tiny little bit. But was he okay with that? <laughs> yeah. One day, Isin Boshi went to his parents and said to him, I've decided to go in search of adventure. The world is big especially for me. In the city, I will find a life that suits me well. His parents were much moved. His mother gave him a... Lightbox? And his father gave him a... Needle. That's right. A beautiful needle, which he wore at his belt. Thus equipped, he was ready to go. And off he went. Here he is on his journey. That's right, it's a little boat. The world is so big, and Ishinboshi is so small. He's pretty nimble, though. Look at all the adventures he's having. But while Ishinboshi was gathering twigs in the forest to make a fire, all of a sudden, at a bend in the path, he came across a strange smelling, strange looking. Like none he had ever seen before, gigantic, hairy, misshapen, the creature spoke. Tikiki, who are you? Tikiki, who are you? The little man was not afraid, and he said, I am Isin Boshi, the one inch boy. Tikiki, said the ogre, hopping from one foot to the other. I'll make you a deal. If you follow this stream, you will come to a city. In this city, you will see a grand house of a nobleman. In this house, you will find a beautiful treasure. And Tikiki, you will bring it to me. Then my magic hammer, Uchidi no Kuzuchi, he who grants wishes, will reward you with the height your parents forgot to give you. What do you say? So what's the ogre promising him? To make him big. Would you take the deal? Quick-witted and honest, Issen replied, I shall go and see this city. I shall go and see this nobleman. But he'll keep his treasure. His treasure. You'll keep your hammer, and I'll keep my tiny size. That way, we'll be even. Good day to you. I must be on my way. And on board, sailing towards the city, Issen Boshi thought he could hear the ogre's voice in the distance like an echo. Tikiki, tikiki, tikiki. He doesn't look happy, does he? Can you remember the name of the hammer, Hari? Uchidi no Kuzuchi, he who grants wishes. Finally, Isin Boshi arrived in the city. What a commotion! There were traders, horses, snakes, carts, men, birds, women, fruit, children, hustle and bustle all over the place. People running, people shouting, all of them nearly crushing little Isin Boshi. And swiftly, with all his agility, he threaded his way through the crowd, hopping and skipping between all the legs and feet.
Is him through town. Can you spot it's in Boshi? Can you see him, Hari? <laughs> it's in Boshi found a grand house, as beautiful as can be, and he began to shout, Give me a job! I want to work! Roused by the noise, the whole household came running and was astonished to discover the origin, origin of the strange noise. A tiny little man, no more than an inch high. What good could you possibly be to me, little pipsqueak? The nobleman asked, looking down from his balcony. And Isenboshi began to sing. He began to dance. And soon the whole neighborhood watched the spectacle, and the crowd laughed, whistled, and clapped. Can you see him dancing hard? <laughs> Can you give him a clap? He's not dancing to what? <laughs> then a young girl appeared and cried out, Papa, I'm bored. Give me this little person, I beg you, and he can read to me, sing me songs, and keep me company. Exhausted by all the hubbub, the nobleman gave in to his daughter and hired Isinboshi. Hmm. He did very well at his job interview, didn't he? From then on, Isinboshi accompanied the girl wherever she went. One day he would sing, the next day he would dance. And time passed, and he worked hard at inventing tricks and songs to entertain his young mistress. And she was delighted to have a doll that could read and think. But the little man began to say to himself that it might be nice, just once, to be not really bigger, but perhaps a little less small, so that she would view him differently, especially because she was very beautiful. Beauty's only skin deep, is in Boshi. One day, out walking in the forest, Isinboshi was amusing the young girl by acting out the battle between the ant and the caterpillar. And all of a sudden, who appears, Hari? Who appears? The creature appears. Tikiki, thank you, Boshi Boshi. At last you have bought me the treasure I asked for. A thousand thanks, my little one. And with these words, he put the young girl under his arm and rushed off as fast as his little legs would carry him. Oh no, so the treasure was the girl. That's what the ogre was after, Hari. A quick runner, Isimboshi, soon caught up with him, leapt, gripped on tightly to the ogre, and bit him with all his might. Infuriated by the pesky midget, the ogre swallowed him whole. But what is the ogre carrying, Hari? And what is this in Boshi carrying? What happens if you swallow a needle? No. Deep down in the ogre's stomach, Isin Boshi felt a terrible anger rising within him. He seized the needle at his belt and he plunged it <laughs> into the giant's insides. He stabbed and slashed and stabbed again, like a hornet, like a wasp. And nothing escaped him, neither the liver, nor the kidneys, nor the heart, nor even the throat, so much so that the monster doubled up with pain, spat him out again. What do you think is going to happen now? What do you think is going to happen now? Straight, as, straight away, as quick as a flash, Isin grabbed the ogre's magic hammer, Uchibi no Kozuchi, he who grants wishes. And while the young girl and the ogre looked on in amazement, little Boshi grew and grew and grew. What did he wish for? What did Isin Boshi wish for? To be... The one-inch boy turned into a man who was tall and strong and, above all, terribly angry. Without his hammer, the ogre took fright and scurried off whining, Take care! Take care! Take care! Look him run away like the coward he is. People say he can still be walking in the depths of the forest. A little tiny ogre, nibbling grass, suffuse it, soothe his punctured insides. People say that Isin Boshi sometimes misses being small and that he still treasures his ball and needle. And people say that the nobleman's daughter has a different view of Isin Boshi and that story is not yet over. What do you think? Hey, I'm going to assign you an activity for this uh, book, Isin Boshi. It's going to be uh, something around screen printing. Uh, check the comments and the task below to complete the activity. Good luck.